PlayStation's State of Play just offered us a huge surprise, with the reveal of Ghost of Yote, and while it wasn't Ghost of Tsushima 2 like many of us expected, this new adventure introduces a fresh new lead, a different region, and a new time period. In a PlayStation blog post, Sucker Punch goes on to say, Today we are so happy to announce Ghost of Yote, the latest game from Sucker Punch, and the introduction of our new hero, Atsu. We also wanted to continue to innovate, to create something fresh but familiar. We looked beyond Jin Sakai's story and the island of Tsushima, and shifted our focus to the idea of the ghost instead. At Sucker Punch, we love origin stories, and we wanted to explore what it could mean to have a new hero wearing a ghost mask, and uncovering a new legend. This led us to Ghost of Yote, a new protagonist, a new story to unfold, and a new region of Japan to explore. While we aren't diving into story specifics yet today, we can reveal that Atsu's journey takes place in 1603, more than 300 years after the events of Ghost of Tsushima. Our story is set in the land surrounding Mount Yote, a towering peak in the heart of Ezo, an area of Japan known as Hokkaido in present day. In 1603, this area was outside the rule of Japan and filled with sprawling grasslands, snowy tundras, and unexpected dangers. It's a far cry from the organized samurai clans who lived in Tsushima, and it's the setting for an original story we can't wait to tell. This is also Sucker Punch's first game built from the ground up for PlayStation 5, and we're excited to build on the visual foundation we established in Ghost of Tsushima by making the world feel even more real. We have massive sightlines that let you look far across the environment, whole new skies featuring twinkling stars and auroras, even more believable movement from wind on grass and vegetation, and more improvements we'll share in the future. Our new setting also gives us the opportunity to introduce new mechanics, gameplay improvements, and even new weapons. Our trailer today offers offers a glimpse into this world, but there's so much more to show, and we'll have much more to share in the months ahead, including details about Atsu's journey and the people and animals she'll meet along the way. We are forever grateful for the success of Ghost of Tsushima, and can't wait for you all to experience Ghost of Yote in 2025. Now, even though they've stepped away from Jin Sakai, which was the most surprising choice to me, I love Jin. He was once a traditional samurai, deeply rooted in honor, but as his story unfolds, he faces immense challenges that force him to rethink those values. The internal struggle he experiences, balancing his samurai heritage with the need to adapt and use unconventional methods to save his people, Ghost of Tsushima was perfection. And now we have a new character in the lead, Atsu. All we know so far is that she is a ronin warrior set to take up the ghost mantle. How the legend of Jin survived a 300 years between each character's story is beyond me, but what we do know is that Atsu will be voiced by the talented Erika Ishii. Many fans may recognize her from Destiny 2 where they portrayed Anna Bray and the voice of Valkyrie in Apex Legends. I think she'll bring a lot of depth and nuance to the role of Atsu in Ghost of Yote. Given her experience in various roles, she has a knack for conveying strong emotions and complex character traits, which will be essential for portraying a new lead like Atsu. And like the foxes in Ghost of Tsushima, this new trailer reveals a strong focus on the inclusion of wolves. Wolves often symbolize loyalty, strength, and survival, so their presence could signify Atsu's connection to nature and her role as a protector of her environment. But I can see wolves playing multiple roles in the game. They might serve as a companion, aiding Atsu in combat or exploration, similar to how other games have utilized animal companions. With Sucker Punch now heading in the direction of using the ghost title as a way to tell new stories with new characters, this approach allows them to explore different themes, settings, and time periods, while still maintaining the core elements that fans loved in Ghost of Tsushima. It'll give them the flexibility to innovate and create fresh narratives without being tied down to a single character or storyline. Ghost of Yote comes out in 2025, and you can bet that I'll be pre-ordering this as soon as I can. But let me know in the comments if you're excited for this new installment in the Ghost series, and I'll see you guys next time.